I'm Dr. Justin Skrinsky, MD, COVID physician. You've likely been hearing a lot about COVID mutations and variants. Well, what are they and how freaked out should you be? Before we start, let me share something personal. I have a disease called narcissism. And the only cure is more YouTube subscribers. So subscribe to my YouTube channel and give me the sweet, sweet medication that I need. External validation. So first, what even is a mutation? Mutation is anytime you change the genetic code. So in our case, DNA, and in the case of the virus, RNA. Changing a letter in your genetic code is similar to changing a letter in a regular word, only the letters in your genetic code are arranged into three letter words called codons. Just like English, one little addition, deletion, or substitution can change the entire meaning of the word. What, it says duck? What were you thinking? These codon words each code for an amino acid. Once these words make a sentence of amino acids in a string, they fold together into a three dimensional shape to give you a protein. There are a variety of ways that mutation can happen copying errors, exposure to chemicals, exposure to radiation. Focusing on the first one, it's just like a big game of telephone. The more times the virus copies itself, the more chances it has to make a mistake. Now remember, mutation, is a random process. The virus isn't trying to become more deadly or more transmissible. In fact, most mutations probably make the virus non-functional. Those copies die out, we don't even see them. It's like randomly modifying parts in your car. Chances are your car will run worse or not at all afterwards, but if you do this a billion, billion times, you might luck into something. Uh, that would be 10 to the 18th power or one quintillion. That's also why we're not just concerned with deaths and hospitalizations, but the total number of cases. The longer the virus circulates in society, the more chances that you'll get a mutation that'll make it more deadly or more contagious. As of filming, there's three key variants that we need to know about. They all have numbers, but for ease of use, let's call them UK, South Africa, and Brazil. Question for you, Brolt. Does the Brazil variant cause periodic flare-ups? Uh, not that I know of. Why? Oh, just uh, once I got this viral variant from this Brazilian girl, and needless to say, two, three times a year, things get uh, pretty rough for the old juice man here. Too much information. Of all the variants, the UK variant has been in the US the longest. This one features a key mutation. Uh, this mutation features the N501Y spike protein receptor binding domain mutation, also known as the Nelly mutation. Ah, the Nelly mutation. I think we have a supporting video clip. It's getting hot in here. It's so hot. So well, that perceived temperature variation could certainly be a fever from a variant COVID strain. So take off all your clothes. Unorthodox, but uh, all right. The point is that this allows the spike protein, which is these little knobby things on the outside of the virus, to better latch onto your cells. This one is more contagious than regular COVID and perhaps a bit more deadly as well. Fortunately, Pfizer and Moderna have both issued statements saying that their vaccine will cover this strain. The South Africa and Brazil variants have yet more mutations. The uh, E484K receptor binding domain mutation, which could contribute to immune escape. Right, so the issue here is not just whether they're more deadly or more contagious, but also if they can dodge the immune response of someone who's been vaccinated or has already recovered from a COVID infection. The problem is, if most people are immune to regular COVID, but the virus is still allowed to circulate, these variants will eventually become the dominant strains because they're the only ones that can escape the immune system. It will become more dominant than the wild type. Oh, you beautiful, beautiful man. Happily, the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines should cover the South Africa variant, albeit less effectively, but the word is still out in the Brazil variant. Well, how do we combat these if the vaccines aren't as effective? Population measures. Masks, distancing. So when someone asks, we have a vaccine, why do we need masks? We have masks, why do we need a vaccine? Now you know the answer. So how is it that these variants can even dodge the immune response? Remember, the vaccine gets your body to recognize the spike protein on the outside of the virus. Change the spike protein enough and your antibodies will recognize it weakly or not at all. Coronaviruses actually mutate pretty slowly, it's just this thing has had so many chances to do it. But there are guardrails in terms of how much things can mutate before they just stop working. Sure, you can make a spike protein that's unrecognizable to the immune system, but if you change it too much, the virus won't work anymore. So it's no surprise that we see the same mutations arising spontaneously in different areas because there are only certain mutations that can occur without creating a non-functional virus. The problem is we don't know how many potential mutations there can be. And if you hit 
on the winning combination, you can end up with a virus that's more deadly, more transmissible, and unrecognizable to the immune system. Don't forget, these changes are very small and incremental. Like we talked about, one tiny change to your car can decrease, or less probably, increase performance. But it won't suddenly turn your car into a transformer. Similarly, COVID can't abruptly turn into a completely different virus with different symptoms. Given enough time, these changes add up and you could end up with a new virus, which is pretty much how we have COVID to begin with. As long as the pandemic keeps going, we keep rolling those dice. And well, actually there's speculation that COVID-19 could have arisen as a recombination event between bat and pangolin coronaviruses. How about another time? Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. We will see you next time.